The Johnson & Johnson vaccine is back at FEMA sites across the state, including the one at the Tampa Greyhound track. And it comes following a nearly two-week pause on the vaccine by federal officials. Aid on your side's Nico Clements joins us live at the Tampa Greyhound track with reaction to this latest news. Good morning. Avery, good morning. Lots of people here at the Tampa Greyhound track already this morning. While Johnson & Johnson is back and deemed safe, some people still have their doubts about the vaccine. That Pfizer would be the best option for me with what they're offering. Almost two weeks after the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was removed from the Tampa Greyhound track, federal officials are ready to use it again. FEMA sites across the state, including this one, are now offering 3,000 Johnson & Johnson doses a day. Federal agencies lifted the pause on the vaccine Friday after federal regulators reviewed data on blood clots and assessed the risk associated with the vaccine. But the vaccine is not in high demand. Over the weekend, Haley Barber went a different direction. The Johnson & Johnson, I went against that because of the blood clots and um, yeah, the Pfizer just sounds better with the research. Others are in favor of the one shot option. Said they got it taken care of, so I believe them. People are taking it and just like anything else, I mean, some people get sick and some people won't, so it's a chance. Now health officials are going on a full court press telling people the vaccine is effective and extremely low risk. We clearly have a situation where the benefits greatly outweigh the risks, even for younger women. Pfizer is still available here at the Tampa Greyhound track. Right now, the state has not said when those mobile vaccination events will begin or resume administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Live in Tampa, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.